Hey there everyone, your friend Alchemist87TV here coming at you with a brand new video. In this video we're going to create our own sub badges. This is something that you would really need if you just became an affiliate just so you could get start filling stuff in. But this is something you don't need to pay for at all if you have a logo. Um, in, our, in my last video we talked about creating a translucent logo. Um, we're going to use that same, th we're going to use what we created in the last video in this one. So if you haven't seen that yet, go back in the description and it'll t I'll have a link that takes you to it. So this video we're going to want to use the one where we don't have anything in the background or any text or anything because it's just going to be an image that shows how long people have been subbed to us and we're going to use gradients to show the differences between them. Um, and there's going to be three sizes to them. It's going to be 18 by 18, 36 by 36, and 72 by 72. So I'm going to show you how to make each one of those and save them and we're going to do it with the same Photoshop file so you don't need to create a bunch of files or anything like that. So it's pretty simple, should be pretty straightforward, so let's get into it. So this is kind of what the finished product is going to look like. Um, this is one I already made. So let's, we're going to open a new one, so let's come, come up here to File, Open, and then we're going to want to pick the one with no name. Okay, so now that we have that opened, we're just going to start separating the parts to it so that it doesn't get wonky when we start doing it. So first we're going to want to separate the eyes out. So we're going to click we're going to click the magic wand tool up here on the left. Click on one eye, hold shift, click on the other. So basically we want to separate the different colors and we're going to we're not going to want to change these inner colors or the outer colors when we do the gradient, so that's why we're separating them. So we're going to right click layer via copy. And that made them a new layer. So now we're going to want to go back to this layer, do the same thing we just did, click one, hold shift, click the other, and then we're going to want to mask it. So we're going to right click, select inverse, mask. So they still show that they're there because of the new layer. So if I hide this, they're gone. Translucent, or yeah, they're gone. And we make that reappear, and we're good. So we want to come down here, right click, apply layer, mask. And now we're set with that one. Then we're going to want to separate out all the colors that we want to change. So you want to start clicking your inner colors. Hold shift again. And just select everything that you are going to want to change with the gradient. That should be everything. Then we're going to want to layer via copy again. And then come back to this one. And do what we just did. Select it all again. Should be good and then we're going to want to mask it or right click select inverse and then mask otherwise it masks the wrong stuff so it's still there because we did all the right things apply that layer mask and then you can see little white lines here that's not going to matter when we shrink it down you won't be able to see that at all it just looks a little funny since we're big so now that we have everything separated into its own layer, we're ready to go. So we're going to want to go to layer 3, and this is the one we're going to want to make changes to. So just double click that. Um, I'm going to throw my, usually my ones I normally do on it, which are bevel and emboss, just to give it some de depth. And those are the settings right there. I'll leave it up there for a second. Some satin, just because it gives it that more softer look. And that's really good for when we want to make it look kind of metallic. Then we want a gradient overlay. So even when we add the gradient overlay, it gets rid of that line pretty much. You can't see it. And then we're going to want a... Let's see how the drop shadow looks. No, we don't want that. Yeah, that's all you're going to want right there. So just satin, gradient overlay, and bevel and emboss. So let's go to our gradient overlay. And these are the settings here. Do it up there for a second. Here's the settings for satin. And now we're gonna wanna choose the gradient that we want. So for my gradient pack, I used N Creatives Gradients. Um, it's just a free gradient pack that I found online. I'm gonna link it down in the description. 
um, but you'll also need a 7-zip to open it because um, it's going to download as a .rar file and you can't really uncompress those without something that unzips it so I'm going to link 7-zip down in the description too um, but to do that you'll download it and then right click it and then the 7-zip will be one of the options when you right click and you just do the unpack or extract here option and it'll open it and then you just click on the p the photoshop file and it'll load the good gradients in and like i said those will be linked in the description pretty easy to do but yeah let's go through these and we're going to want it so like we're going to want progression to it so our base one we actually probably want to be our own colors so we probably won't add a gradient overlay so to do that you just do this and it's just our normal colors that we always have in our logo um, so I guess I could go through this real fast so we're going to want to make all of this a smart object and then go to image image size and this is where you're going to want to change it to those other options that we need for the actual sub badge so first off we can start off with the 18 and then make this 18 also just gonna be a little funky because we actually are not, let me see here, square. Let's try this. Let's merge these and then try to do it, see if that helps. Actually, let's just change our canvas. So basically what was brought the problem was there is our canvas wasn't the same size it wasn't a square canvas so when it was trying to Im like f like go down it was just making it off a little bit so now you want to go to image image size and then just type in those 18s that's all there is to it click ok and it should automatically do that actually let me do one thing first so when we merge those it actually got rid of the convert to smart object you want it to be a smart object because when we scale it back up it's going to get messed up if it's not um so let's go so what i did again was image image size 18 by 18 click okay and it looks really small just because of how big it was before but we can zoom in a little bit and you're going to notice that it really looks it doesn't look good but that's just because we had it so big um, but when it's actually like on twitch it won't look bad so file save as and then save it as whatever you want sub badge base and then just save it i'm not gonna save it because i already have these um, and then you click file again or click image image size and then we're gonna scale it back up to 36, which is our next dimensions. And you see it gets more detailed as it comes up. Then just click file, save as, save it as whatever you want. Image, image size, make this 72 by 72. There you go, file, save as. And that's really all there is to it. And then we're just gonna hit control Z, which undoes whatever, we had just did and we're back to what we had let's hit control z again to separate them out though um and that actually messed with our canvas size again because i un that was one of the things we did so i'm just go back here and make it the same so three four two six and it's right in the center so it's not gonna crop anything so you don't have to worry about that so now we're back to where we really want to be then we go back to layer three which is the one we were working on hmm. there we go now it's showing them and we want to add our gradient overlay 
So all I did was there was hit control Z until it went back to without the smart object so I could see the things I was working on. Because the sub smart object for some reason reset it. And then we're going to want to choose probably like a bronze. It's a little dark in the corner for my liking. That one right there is not bad. We're just really looking for like a bronze, like so like we're gonna go like bronze, silver, gold, and then kind of what we want to from there. Because we really only go up to one year right now. As long as you're affiliated. If you're a uh, partner, you get three more, so you get two to eight year badges. Or not three more, but you get two to eight year badges, so you can do that. The same thing, but just choose whatever gradients you want. I like this one. So, and this one is, it's really up to you on the colors, but there's a lot in here, so there's a lot to choose from. So, you can really just play with it until you get what you like. And just click OK. That's done. And then we're going to want to convert all these to smart objects again. And that automatically merged them for us because we had them selected. Now that we did that, we're just going to want to resize the image. So, we go back up to image, image size. And then make it 18 first. Oh, it messed with our canvas again. Okay, for some reason it keeps messing with our canvas when I make it a smart object. So let's make this back to three, four, two, six. Click OK. Proceed. So one of the the problem could be that let's just crop it down to just the image. See if that helps at all. Try that. Hmm. So we're just gonna have to keep chain. So we're just gonna have to keep changing that back, I guess. So that keeps happening. You just come up here, canvas size, three, four, two, two, six. And then just go file, or actually image, my bad. Image size, so we gotta resize it. And go 18. And the reason I can tell that it's off is because it's going 18 and then 19, which isn't correct. So now we have that, just file, save as we've been doing. And then you go image, image size, 36. Save as, image, image size, 72. And then you just hit Control Z and get back to here. And I separate them back out again. Let's actually go here. I'm, I'm gonna see something. Canvas size. Let's switch the canvas back because we hit undo on it. And let's try converting this to a smart object. See if it changes that. Okay, there we go. It didn't do it that time. So I must have just hit Control Z one too many times before. Nice, so separate separated back out so we can go back in here and change our gradient again. So now we're going to want to do like a silver. So you just want to scroll through until you find a silver you like. And if there's not one in here, there's always the preset ones too. So I really like this one. We'll check. Oh, I guess it was. Those ones aren't bad either. Kind of like how it's just like the one stripe in the middle. Yeah, we're gonna go with one of these. Let's go with a lighter one. Kind of like that one. Let's go with that. So after you do that, you get your gradient, and then just hit click one, shift, click the next one, the next one, and then convert it to smart object again. Do all your sizing again, and then control Z it back. And we can change the gradient. So basically, all there really is left to it is just changing the gradient and then doing all your sizes again. So it's just repeating the same steps over and over again. And I don't really feel the need to go over that again in this video because we've already done it twice, three times. So 
that's probably it for the video honestly so just if you forget how to do something just go back to the video's beginning i want to keep this video kind of short so just go back to the beginning and rewatch the steps um, but there's the same steps on every single one except the only thing that's different is you change the gradient overlay to whatever you want it to be and then save it as a three and that's all there is to it um so that's it for the sub badge video actually we'll go over uploading them so to upload them you want to go to your twitch page you want to go to your creator dashboard click affiliate and then go to loyalty badges and it comes up with this and then you can choose here and choose which one you want to upload and you can do this as you go after you save the three you don't have to wait all, till the end so you don't get confused or anything you can also just make sure you name like base two month three month six month nine month one year and then you just upload each size file in the right one uh, if you're uploading the wrong size file it won't let you do it so you might just be uploading the wrong one so that's one other thing with naming is just to add the 18 by 18 36 by 36 72 by 72 or just add 18 36 72 just so you know which one's which and then you just submit it and it might take i don't i know with emotes there's like a waiting period i don't think there's one as long with sub badges though um that's really all there is to it you just upload all, each one and then you can do custom flaring now so maybe we'll do that in a video so that's really all there is to it thanks everyone for being here appreciate you watching if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you next time